Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to make a watermark into a paintbrush. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to File, New, and I'm going to open up um, a blank document. This one is set to 19.8 um, by 13.2 inches. Um, it's just something large. We can crop it down later. So then we'll hit OK, and it will open this up for us. Then grab your text tool, or if you have a logo, you can stamp it on here or drag it over. Just make sure that it's in black. And so what we're going to do, let's say that I wanted to grab a different font. Um, we'll just go to something regular, Times New Roman. There we go. Okay, so then I'm just going to type my name. Okay, and then you can drag it over in the center. Um, you can add a copyright symbol. I just did that by holding down Alt, and then I hit 0169 on my keyboard while holding Alt, and that makes the copyright symbol. Um, you can come up here to this little tab, and you can um, add some spacing between your letters if you wanted. The one that says VA with the arrows, um, just grab that, and then you can kind of increase your letter size um, however you wanted to do it. After you're done and you're satisfied with how it looks, you can come up here and grab your rectangular marquee tool and make a selection around your new logo. And then you will come up here to edit and then you'll hit define brush preset. And this will turn this into a brush. And so here you will say whatever you want to call it. Copyright watermark. And you'll hit OK. And then now you can come in here into grab your paintbrush, sorry, and then you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and you will find your new brush in there. And so I'm going to unselect that, hit a new blank layer here, and this is what you'll do on your photos too, and then you can just stamp it in there. And you can change the color over here to any color you'd like and stamp that in as well. So now all you have to do is grab your paintbrush and your your actual brush and then you can stamp your logo or your watermark onto your photos. Um, once you have done that over here you'll want to make sure it's selected and you'll want to click this little gear up here and you'll want to hit save brushes and then save it to a place that you can remember later um, that way if Photoshop closes accidentally on you you don't lose your brush you have it saved somewhere. So that's how to turn your watermark into a brush in Photoshop. If you have any questions about this tutorial, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thanks so much and have a great day.